Good morning, we're back in Proverbs, it's chapter 11, and we're going in at verse 19. Truly the righteous attain life, but whoever pursues evil finds death. The Lord detests those whose hearts are perverse, but he delights in those whose ways are blameless. Be sure of this, the wicked will not go unpunished, but those who are righteous will go free. Like a ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman who shows no discretion. The desire of the righteous ends only in good, but the hope of the wicked only in wrath. One person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. People curse the one who hoards a grain. But they pray God's blessing on the one who is willing to sell. Whoever seeks good finds favour, but evil comes to the one who searches for it. Those who trust in their riches will fail, but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf. Whoever brings ruin on their family will inherit only wind, and the fool will be the servant to the wise. The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, and the one who is wise saves lives. If the righteous receive their due on earth, how much more the ungodly and the sinner. In this passage, I can see that God is saying not only to search and seek and strive to build up wealth and honour and reputation for ourselves. We have the hoarder in this passage, and it says that people curse them because they hoard up grain only for themselves. But if we're willing to sell what we have and give it away, then God's blessing is prayed upon us through other people. The whole passage seems to be talking about what we actually focus on. Are we focusing on ourselves, our riches, looking after ourselves, hoarding so we have more than enough? Or are we searching for ways to bless other people? ways to be generous and kind. It makes it very, very plain that when we search for evil, we'll find evil and death, and when we search for righteousness, we will find righteousness. So if I search to be a blessing, I'll be blessed. But if I search to hoard, then I will become covered in my riches. I know a lady who has a lot of money. She's now at the end of her life. And this dear, dear lady has so much money that she genuinely does not know what to do with it. So she does nothing with it. She sits in her house on her own and she uses her tea bags two or three times instead of just once because she's so frightened of losing any single part or bit of her wealth. How sad. How sad that she's so contained that she does not have lots of people visiting her because she's never been a blessing. She's always been out to protect and look after herself. God desires that we live in community. He doesn't want us to have nothing and he doesn't want us to have little. He wants us always to have enough. That is God's heart and it's made very plain in the Bible. But he also doesn't want us to have too much. He doesn't want us to sit on piles of wealth and become so proud, so built up, that our wealth squashes us and we live our lives worried about our wealth instead of living out the relationships that God has given to bless us. Verse 25 makes it very plain. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Now, we may not have a lot of money, but we may have a lot of something else, a lot of joy, a lot of kindness. Perhaps we have the ability to just smile, a lot of words. Words don't cost anything to give away. A lot of prayer, a lot of patience, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of the things which really matter, the occasional card to someone in the post that you don't often write to may just lift up their day today. The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, says verse 30, and the one who is wise saves lives. 
God is always waiting to be there for us, always ready to speak to us. Sometimes we have to still our hearts and listen very, very carefully because we've got so wound up with our emotions or so consumed with the affairs of this world and even of ourselves. But I want to be like God. I want to be ready and willing to be that tree of life to other people, that life rope that branch that they can grab hold of in a hard time, that person who is always wanting to bless someone else. Because I know that when we bless others, we are blessed ourselves. I want to be refreshed today, but I won't find refreshment by searching for refreshment for myself. I will find refreshment by refreshing others, by giving, by being joyful, by being grateful, by appreciating other people. I want to leave today's Waking with the Word with a very short story. I was on the phone a few moments ago and my brother Roger phoned me and he told me about a gentleman who I haven't met but have amazing respect for. This gentleman is a top surgeon and he knows my brother quite well. And my brother said he was having a conversation with this man just the other day. And the man said to him, Roger, it's called appreciation. When you meet someone that you don't like, they rub you up the wrong way and you just don't really get on with them. You can choose to find something about that person that you can appreciate. Something that you like, something that you, you know, think isn't too bad, something that you can admire. And it will actually cause a chemical reaction inside of your brain that will make it easier for you to be around that person. You will begin to like them a little bit more. Do you know, it absolutely astounds me and it astounded my brother that the Bible says, pray for your enemies and bless those who despitefully use you. Bless them. Speak good of them. That's what it means. Give them something good. When we can pinpoint something about them, anything that we could admire, there will be a chemical reaction in our brain and it will make be forgiveness my easier. It I can will make say it the truth. easier to tolerate Jesus them. is the saviour of the world. I can call on the name love Jesus, my saviour, and ask for, them. for the action. Maybe not like Come for and what save doing, me but today. love and care for them. Take from today's waking with the word without caring also, for them. The fact so if that you your hate God someone, is to the pray God for them. Who sees, Today, who knows, who understands. Others. And yes, and let God although he may be too. slow, Instead he of seeking is our own desire, our own riches, he will to do hoard for up you things for ourselves. Everything Let's seek that he to be a blessing truly. today. Because it's in, in being the time a blessing that, that we make it blessed. the very most. Today, in the Come Back to God campaign, Today, we are in going the Comeback to, to God working campaign, in all different areas of our retreat centre. We pray for young people. Some of us work in not the print shop, in this land, where the flyers UK, and business worldwide. cards and we pray other leaflets that the are printed for outside ministries and, and companies. From the power Please of the continue enemy. to pray for good Please equipment, join us in the right for them, skills, but also and more send us the names of your young people, We want your to children, pray for you. Your Please grandchildren, send us your, your messages, nieces, your nephews, send us your, your prayer friends, requests, and let, let us, us pray love for you. Them. Make There's a relationship no with us because that's what There's we're no all about. We want a relationship. We want to pray for everything. We want to support we want to you and be a blessing friends. to you. So it would be a guys, blessing for us if you would get in touch. Have, have a, a wonderful day. day. Lots of love. God bless.